Welcome back to the Kristen Amdahl Show. This is Wednesday, happy hump day, and we are live in Southwest Florida in my studio this morning. If you are watching live, please say hello. This is episode 922, and I'm Kristen Amdahl. I'm so happy that you are here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. Let's see. Who's here? I know it takes a minute for people to pop over from pre-chat and notifications. Hi, Joe. Good morning. Yes, happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Hi, Wendy and Judy, Natalie, Leona. Happy hump day. Happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope you're having a great day so far. As you can see, I have some new things to show you this morning. You may have thought that this was the Be So Baby yarn color board, but if you take a closer notice, you'll notice that these swatches are circles. They're not squares like the Be So Baby board. We have new yarn to talk about. How exciting is that? I'm also wearing a sample in the new yarn. I'll wait for people to pop over, so let's see. Hi, Patricia, Wendy. Val, Lisa, Lily, Steffi, Suzanne, good morning everybody and welcome back. I'm so glad you have a few minutes to spend with me. Hi Sharon and Doris. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to see. I could, I could try. Thank you Lisa. I am wearing so I am wearing the Sweet Clara Top, one of the most popular patterns I ever designed. And it's in number two sport weight yarn. And since the new yarn is number two sport weight, I thought it was a good opportunity for me to experiment with different yarns that I've used over the years that were number two and try to recreate some of the pieces to see how well, it's, all, it's for a couple of reasons to give you some pattern ideas right from the beginning, and also to give you some real life application of how to substitute yarns in different patterns. So there's lots to talk about there, but before further, uh, before we talk any further, I'd like to introduce you to the new yarn. This is Biso Lux yarn, my number two sport weight yarn that is 70% bamboo, 30% cotton, and comes in uh, 200, what was it? Did I forget the yardage already? Ha! 158 yards per 50 gram, but very similar in weight to Be So Sporty Yarn, Be So Sporty Bling Yarn, Be So Serene Yarn, Be So Bear Yarn, Be So Fresh Yarn, which are a variety of number two sport weight yarns that I either currently sell or have sold over the years. And this yarn comes in 46 colors. I am so excited to tell you all the colors too. I had a ball naming these colors and I'll probably write a blog post explaining um, the whole story behind how I named them. It was very elaborate, very technical, and very geeky, nerdy, however you want to word it, uh, which is right up my alley. <laughs> so I had so much fun you know, exploring language and exploring idiomatic expressions in English and possibly in other languages too, and really doing a lot of fun play on words and maybe even paying homage to different pop culture things that involved color over the years. So if you like, I can start with uh, introducing you to all the colors, or I could start with what I'm wearing. Where should we start? Let's see. I've probably missed some names as well this morning, and I'm sorry about that, but thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Oh, one other thing. So Be So Lux Yarn is $5.99 a ball, and it is available in all sorts of bulk discounts. You put five balls in your cart, you get 5% off. 10 balls, 10%, 15, 15%. All the way up to, if you add 30 balls to your cart, you get 30% discount. So huge range of bulk discounts available for this yarn. Comes in 46 colors. It works for any number two sport weight pattern. I remade the Sweet Clara top with some modifications. I did a short sleeve version and I added a tiny little bit of a neckband by just working two rounds of double crochet around. 
And as you can see, it is definitely our beloved Sweet Clara top. And you can see the beautiful drape. It is 70% cotton, 30 or 70% bamboo, 30% cotton. And it just has such amazing drape. It's incredibly soft. I hope you can see that. And so pretty. And this is the black color. And it, the black is called Black to Reality. So you may notice that that's already a play on words, right? So the expression is back to reality. And I replaced the word back with black. So this black, jet black, pure black color is a gorgeous color of yarn for so many different types of projects or for color work as well. And it is called Black to reality. You can also find a blog post on my website where I introduce or announce the yarn and there I put together 12 color combinations. I curated 12 five color combinations based on nature photos like I did for Be So Baby Yarn a while back to give you an idea of how beautifully these colors blend together. And I also shared some swatches, which if we have time, I'll go over that today as well, where not only did I work up Be So, uh, or my Sweet Clara Top to gauge with the regular pattern, but I did swatches to gauge in a, a, a variety of other um, number two sport weight patterns uh, on my website, super popular patterns that I thought it would be interesting to show you that this yarn will meet gauge on all of those as well. So if you uh, would like to pick colors based on tonal families, as you can see from the way that I organize them here, all of that is available too. You could, do, you could explore in some gradient work or some different tonal family color work here, definitely all possibilities. And then if you want to do more contrasty color theory, I did start that on the blog post and you could certainly experiment with color theory on your own as well. So let's start from the wall over here. The, this is the pink family. I think you can see that on camera. So this is flat out fabulous. Hello, gorgeous. Ro uh, which one is this one? Rose colored glasses, pretty in pink and hush of blush. And as you can see, it just is very different variations of pinks. Then in the reds, we have Go With the Lava Flow, then Paint the Town Red, You're My Lobster, Mango Tango, and Machu Picchu. Then down the green column here, we have Enchanted Forest, Four Leaf Clover, Treasure Island, Succulent Garden, Matcha Latte, Electric Lizard, and Breath of Fresh Air. Then in the blue-green column here, we have Waterfall Rendezvous, Tropicana Cabana, Sea Breeze, Social Butterfly, Peacock Feathers, I almost have them memorized, and Denim Crush. Then in the blue category here, the deep dark navy here is called Walking After Midnight, then Bossa Nova Blues, Baby Light My Sapphire, California Dreaming, and Don't Quit Your Daydreams. Then in the purple column here, we've got Wild Pansy, Lavender Lily, Aurora Splendor, Kimono Violet, Sugar Plum Fairy, and Raisin the Bar. Then for our neutral column here, we have Heart of Gold, Expedition Khaki, Ray of Taupe, Foggy Morning, Smoke Rings, Espresso Yourself, which is a very dark, beautiful brown, and then we have Black to Reality, our Jet Black. All right, let's see. Let's see if we have any questions. Uh, it took me four balls to, of Be So Luxe yarn to make my top, and I made the smallest size. So I made the 36 inch bust, and I made it with short sleeves and a little bit of a neck edging and it took four balls. So that brings up a great question. If you're looking at patterns that used other yarns, how do you figure out how many balls to use? It's gonna take a small amount of math. You wanna look at the total yardage for whatever size you're making and divide that by the number of yards per ball, which I already forgot it again, isn't that silly, 158. So let's say the project takes 1,580 yards, you divide by 158, it's gonna take 10 balls. 
whenever you're doing math like that, if there is anything more, like let's say it said 10.2 or it said 5.68, there is no such thing as a partial ball at that point, so you always have to do round up to the next full ball. Thanks, Grace. I had so much fun naming them, and I will write a blog post about it because it was really a fun exploration. All right, so let's see. Where should we go from here? We've got so much to talk about. We could talk about any of the colors. I did bring full balls of all 46 colors, so if you'd like to see any of them up close, like I said, they are 50 gram balls, 158 yards per ball, number two sport weight, 70% uh, bamboo, 30% cotton. So, so incredibly soft. And with 46 colors, my goodness, sky's the limit. What could you do? You could do color work. You could do, or you could do things in just any kind of a color that you like. Um, you want me to read the color names again on yellow? Oh, I think I missed the yellow column. That must be what it is. I don't think I said the yellow column. I must have missed it. So this is Yellow Brick Road, Sunshine State of Mind, Sliced Lemons, Pearls of Wisdom, and Freshly Washed Linen. So Freshly Washed Linen is a mostly white, and then Pearls of Wisdom is more of a cream, and then we have the different shades of the yellows. Any other questions about that? You're welcome. Yeah, I think I missed that column altogether because I don't remember saying those names. Okay, so let's go over some of the swatches. Let's go over some of the swatches. Well, how do these yarns knit up? Well, I did show you that I'm already wearing a Sweet Clara top worked up in this yarn, so you can see how that's worked up. Then I did swatches for some of the other patterns, and if you follow the link to the blog post, the photos of these patterns are listed side by side with the swatches. So this is from, this is half double crochet in the back loop for the Felicia Cowell. And the Felicia Cowell is from 80 Handmade Gifts. And this worked, I was able to work up all these swatches in the correct gauge for the patterns. Here is the swatch for the Athena Shrug and I was able to work, get that to gauge so that it would work up the same size. Here is, oh gosh, what did I forget? Oh, this is for, those are both, um, these are both Be So Sporty patterns. This is a Be So Sporty pattern. This is from the Trixie Pullover, which is a top-down raglan pullover in Be So Sporty Bling yarn. I was able to get gauge on that one as well. Then this is the swatch from the Selma Cardigan. And this is a knit swatch from the Amelia vest that was done in Be So Soulful yarn. Also, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, it's the cover piece from Layers Knit, but you can also get it as a single download. Uh, well, the yarn is 70% bamboo and 30% cotton, so it does have a slight sheen to it, but it does also have some of that extra weight uh, and softness and it has a matte quality and a super softness from the cotton, and then it does have some of the drape and sheen of the bamboo as well. All right, so that's the Amelia swatch, and it I did I was able to get it to gauge, and this is from the Amelia vest, which is one of my knit patterns done in Be So Soulful yarn, but you could also do it in Be So Luxe yarn. This is stockinette swatch worked on six or you know a four millimeter knitting needles and this i was able to get gauge for two very popular patterns one of them is the kimmy top and the other one is the trina pullover and this swatch is two gauge for both of those patterns can you see that incredible drape isn't that beautiful so so pretty okay and then this is the swatch 
from the Cora Bolero, which was done in Be So Fresh yarn, and I was able to get gauge for one of the sizes with this motif. So this pattern uh, really play, the sizes are based on your gauge of the motifs anyway, but what was important to me is make sure that uh, I could get gauge in any of them because then going up or down and hook, you would get the gauge for whatever size you're making. So I was able to get gauge for the smallest size there. And then the Meadow Poncho. The Meadow Poncho is, uh, was done in two colors. I did this in one color because I thought it was also interesting to see what a beautiful stitch pattern this is in both one color and two. And you can compare and contrast these two uh, textures on that blog post that I mentioned I, where I show these new swatches side by side with their original patterns. So that again, if you're depending on what size you're making, you're going to want to look at the yardage of whatever size you're making and divide that full yardage by the number of yards on the ball, which is 158 to figure out the number of balls that you need. If it ends up being a not perfect number, something with a decimal as you're doing it or a fraction, whatever, uh, make sure that you round up because if it takes four and a half balls, you'll need five balls to work four and a half. Hopefully that makes sense. Yes, the drape is amazing. You know how important that is to me. And um, thank you, Carla. This is the Sweet Clara top. And I made the smallest size with a couple of modifications. I did a short sleeve instead of the cap sleeve or the long sleeve. All of those versions are available on the pattern. And I added a small amount of a neckband to it as well. And this took four balls of Be So Luxe yarn. If you wanted to make your sleeves look young, longer, it would require more yarn. If you wanted to make one of the larger sizes, it will require more yarn. All of those yardage variations are listed on the pattern page. And all you'll need to do to substitute Be So Luxe is to divide that full yardage by the number of yards per ball to figure out how many balls you'll need. If you have trouble with any of that, please always feel welcome to ask. It's simple math and I'm happy to help when I can. Okay, so the next one I wanna show you is a, a, a mock-up of, of swatches that I did get gauge on for the Majestic Skies crochet shawl. So this shawl uses, I think, four or five colors and I put together four or five colors of one of the color inspiration um, combinations that I worked on for that blog post as well. This was based on some really pretty like peachy and coral and red and yellow flowers. And so I worked up four squares of the Majestic Skies crochet shawl in different combinations of those four colors so you could see how pretty it works up together and also, also to show that I could get gauge with this yarn for that shawl. That's the Majestic Skies Crochet Shawl that you can find on my website. And the colors that I mix together are the colors that you will see in one of the color inspiration photos on my new blog post. So the darkest red in here is Go With The Lava Flow. Then that orangey red is called um, You're My Lobster. Then the yellow here is the pale yellow called Sliced Lemons. Then this peach is called Machu Picchu. And then the dusty pink that I added is called Rose Colored Glasses. I had so much fun naming these colors and I, I think I have a few favorites. If uh, you want me to go over the names again, I can. What I would like from you. So after the show is over, I would love to hear what your favorite color names are in the comments. Let's see, is this not showing up? Is, let's see if we can get this side to come over a little more. Moving an easel once you have a board on it is kind of the kiss of death sometimes. It's a risky move. Let's see if that helped or didn't help. Did it help? Maybe a little bit. All right, do you want me to go over the names again? What would you like to see again? Or would you like to see any combinations put together? I think this turned out so pretty, don't you? I could, re I could name the names again. <coughs> All 
Are we frozen? Joe says she wants to hear the names again. Okay, good. It's good practice for me too. All right, and I'm so excited about the names. So I'll name the names again and then try to remember your favorite names. And if you need to go refer to the website, that's fine too. <coughs> Excuse me. That'll help as well. Um, and then as we go along, um, there may... Uh, you can't hear me now. Okay, good. Um, all right, so we'll start at the top here. This is Flat Out Fabulous, Hello Gorgeous, Rose Colored Glasses, Pretty in Pink, and Hush of Blush. Then in this column, we start with Go With the Lava Flow, Paint the Town Red, You're My Lobster, Mango Tango, Machu Picchu. Then in the yellow column, it's Follow the Yellow Brick Road, Sunshine State of Mind, Sliced Lemons, Pearls of Wisdom, and Freshly Washed Linens. Then in the green column, we have Enchanted Forest, Four Leaf Clover, Treasure Island, Succulent Garden, Matcha Latte, Electric Lizard, and Breath of Fresh Air. Then in the blue-green column, it starts with Waterfall Rendezvous, Tropicana Cabana, Sea Breeze, Social Butterfly, Peacock Feathers, and Denim Crush. Then in the blue column, we have Walking After Midnight, which is a super dark navy, Bossa Nova Blues, Baby Light My Sapphire, California Dreaming, and Don't Quit Your Daydreams. Then in the purple column here, we have Wild Pansy, Lavender Lily, Aurora Splendor, Kimono Violet, Sugar Plum Fairy, Raisin the Bar. Then over here in the neutral column, it starts with uh, Heart of Gold, Expedition Khaki, Array of Taupe, Foggy Morning, Smoke Rings, Espresso Yourself, and Black to Reality. Oh my God, I love so many of the names. <laughs> I hope you do too. I hope you like the names. I hope you like the colors. I hope you're inspired to, I hope you're inspired to make something with these. I know I would love, I know I want to make a red shawl and go with the lava flow. I know I want to make something, anything, everything in the hot pinks, flat out fabulous and hello gorgeous. Um, rose colored glasses, this dusty mauvey pink. I love the name and I just love the color and I would love to make things in that too. Um, what else? I'm so excited about so many things in here. I do love freshly washed linen and pearls of wisdom. I love those colors very much. Um, what else am I excited about? Well, I'm excited about everything in the turquoisey blue green column, but you would already know that if you know me. I'm excited about everything in the purple column. I think these purples would be really pretty for exploring some sort of color work project. Um, <laughs> see, and what else? And the neutrals, one of my favorite names, Expedition Khaki is one of my favorite names in the whole set here. Array of Taupe, I love that name. Smoke Rings, Espresso Yourself is uh, named after the Madonna song, Express Yourself, but with Espresso because it's a dark brown. Um, God, I, I can't even begin to tell you how much fun I had naming these. It's gonna be so much fun making things. I've started making some things with it already. I've been uh, making things Based on number two sport weight gauge, I've also uh, been exploring how to do any top-down shawl or top-down lace you can do, whether it's done in another weight or not, because top-down, you just continue on in pattern. So you could, don't feel limited to just number two sport weight yarns. If you wanted to do any of my bottom-up or top-down lace, knit, or crochet shawls that are either done in number one or done in number three or anything else, you can do top-down shawls in any yarn as well. Just pick a hook or needle size that works for your gauge and for you. And you, you know, you would you wouldn't know the exact yardage that you would need. You'd have to go with round numbers, obviously. But um, the sky's the limit. Anything that if you have already enjoyed working with number two sport weight yarn in the past, 
this is an easy no-brainer for you. And if you haven't, it'd be a fun way to explore doing some top-down or doing some swatches and see what works up and what makes you happy. You know, doing, um, doing a swatch and blocking it and seeing if you like the gauge, seeing if you like the drape. I hope that gauge, I hope the drape's coming through on here. It's just amazing. It's so, so soft, so pretty. And like I said, only $5.99 a ball, but with also so many different ways to do bulk discounts from five balls up to 30. Each tier comes with its own set of discounts and you can, um, and you can do that without coupon codes. It's automatic on my website. And obviously, like everything else, there are reward points for everything. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Does anybody have any other questions? Yeah, you could use a swatch as a mug rub too. That's definitely true. Tina doesn't know what to make with a number two weight. Well, I suggest that you would start with swatching first. Do a swatch and see what works for you. And then doing something top down might be interesting for you so that you can start small and grow bigger. Or do some motifs. Does anybody have any other questions? And don't forget, when the show is no longer live and it's recording, please feel welcome to leave a comment and let me know what your favorite name is. I'm so proud of the names that I put together for this. And I really hope that you enjoy all of the names as well. And if you, if you have questions, always feel welcome to ask them, for, ask them to me. But if you would like to leave a comment on today's show and let me know what your favorite creative names you like of all the colors, um, Tammy, I mentioned a top-down raglan. Yes, I mentioned several of them, including the one that I'm wearing. If you follow the link to the blog post that uh, Judy has shared in the link here and that you can find on my blog, all of the patterns for these swatches are listed there side by side with the photos and these new swatches to gauge. So you can get all of that information there. And if you still can't find what you're looking for, please ask us as well. Okay, well, I don't see any more questions, so I'm just going to ask you to please leave a comment when the show is recorded. Let me know what your favorite new color names are. Let me know if you have questions for me. And in the meantime, everything's available. You can go shop for your favorite colors now. And I hope you have a great time choosing your colors. If you have questions, let me know. Thanks again for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed all the new goodies, chatting with me and everyone else. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.